Hey everyone, Hearted Shadow here, and welcome back to Crash Crash. It has been quite a while. Anyway, well, if you've been paying attention to some of my posts, you'll see that quite a few things have happened. Let me see, for one thing, they're having a sale! Where everybody is back for a limited time. Like, look at that. And, of course, they're on sale, so... If you missed out on some of these LTE girls, well, no. Seems like a good chance to get them. And, yeah, I still haven't gotten her. I'm still thinking about it, especially just because... Look at the backlog that I still have here. Look at it. And... Yeah, we're still waiting on the Emil Amelia phone fling and LTE to, to start, but that's in July. Which, well, now that I think about it, we're, we're getting pretty close. We had a rerun of Lustat. But the biggest thing going on right now is the rerun of the spooky event. Since I already did it, I actually technically finished already. But I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the last three girls, just because it is so ridiculous, and I mean, especially if I don't have to, I'm not going to spend any diamonds, because I did get all of the rewards, especially Cassia, but I'll go into that in a little bit. Because I think after putting it off for long enough, I'm actually gonna just go ahead and start on Cassia. Because, yeah, I guess, what time better than now while we have the spooky event rerun going? So let's get to it. Our hero has been summoned by the illustrious Dr. Wood back to the lab to help with a brand new monster girl. Bring a broom with you, Dr. Wood advises before hanging up. And then after that, I'm going to go see your mother. Broom in hand, you arrive, only to see the most beautiful mummy, uh, sorry, monster girl you've ever seen. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, I bet that could go a few different ways. Attention to anything else, crushed. Yes, I'm going to hold this ball in my hand and talk about nonsense revolving around your mother. Clearly you're not paying attention to me, you little twit. You think Dr. You think Dr. Wood might be saying something about sand in uncomfortable places and how it is coarse and rough and irritating and how it gets everywhere. But that doesn't matter. How could anything else matter with this beautiful creature in front of you? <laughs> Alright. The two of you lock eyes. Her stare is so intense it almost burns. She probably wins every staring contest she enters. Anyway, let's see. Age. 2,090 years old. November 9th. Mathematics. Blood type, none. Favorite job, wizard. Flatbread, necklace. Her occupation is ancient wonder. Suave and B. All right. So let's see here. Does she say anything? Or, well, not that she... What's weird about the spooky event is how they do have the monster girls talk, but then of course you get back here and not so much. So, well, I guess let's see what we get. <sighs> After a few frustrating minutes, you realize she is not going to leave the lab with you. Your next discovery is she is very light, which is good because you have to carry her home. <clears throat> After a while of watching her, you know walking like an Egyptian is nothing to really write a song about. <laughs> Tell that to the bangles. 
She sees you tying your shoes and thinks you're going to need some lessons. Your knot work is far below her expectations. There's a weird blue symbol drawn around your house. It matches the gold one on her belt. Is she... Marking her territory? You mean this one? Well... Yeah, I don't know either. She stares at you in disgust! Unless you're going to moisturize her, hands to yourself! Alright. Good to know! Alright. Let me see, do I have any... Okay, good, I don't have any jobs that I need to worry about. Lousy Zamphony driver, you were the bane of my existence back in the, the Frostmas event, or whatever it was called. But, wow, I didn't- I did not realize it- It gave me so much money! <laughs> uh, it's actually more money than the wizard job. How about that? Alright, well. Cool. At first you think she likes it. She smiles at you, but when you aren't looking, she throws into the sun. Wow, she must have some very good aim. If she's it, and power behind her throw, if she can land it from here all the way to the sun, and without it burning up into the atmosphere. All right, and last one. For a moment there, for a moment there is complete silence. Then she hands you a small pot of moisturizer. I'm sorry, a small pot? Well, then again... I can only imagine how dry her skin must be. The order is clear. Moisturize her! You opened the mummy's tomb! Watch out! Whenever you use her name, she growls and snaps at you. Yikes! It seems you have to get to know her better first. And... Yeah, she's doing the Anka pose. Well, I mean, if it isn't the Anka pose, it's one hell of a coincidence, but given how invested the Sad Panda devs, or at least, well, someone over there has to be invested in pop culture and internet memes, I'm pretty sure it can't be a coincidence. Not entirely. But, well, anyway. She seems upset. Someone told her that a Victorian-era custom wants to eat mummies for medicinal purposes. A Victorian-era custom. I... I would have to... What does that mean? Thinking quickly, you show her a squeak toy. It makes her forget all about it. Good job! Cool. While going through your video game, she finds a copy of Lana Croft, Tomb Thief. You know? <laughs> or, no. Lana Loft, Tomb Thief. I'm sorry. I'm confusing it with the real thing. She throws it at your head. She has surprisingly good aim. I mean, if she can throw a row or a bunch of roses into the sun, she has to have good aim. Let's be real. Things are quiet. Too quiet. You look around for Cassia. No! She's ripping apart your favorite pillow! But I need that pillow for sleeping! Or... It doesn't specify what kind of pillow, so... You pick up a piece of her linen wrappings that has fallen off. It was actually toilet paper. She's offended. You're embarrassed. 
You bring a shame onto your household. Quite a lot of your things have been painted red, gold, green, and blue. You don't hate it, but should but should probably set some ground rules. And some wall rules. And some ceiling rules. You're not gonna set any door rules? Okay, well. I had to. If you're gonna be g naming a lot of the fixtures in a house, then... <laughs> Using her linens, she whips you across the knuckles. Ouch. Yeah, and she's just judging you. And you wonder to yourself, is she dancing? Okay, anyway. That's all she says, so let's see. And she's likewise going to throw these chocolates to the sun. You learn quickly how much she likes to receive things. You bring her endless gifts in an effort to get on her good side. And then she gets that out and... She no longer growls when you make eye contact with her. It must be working! Uh, oh, I was like, what What does that say? You and Cassia are frenemies. Okay, good. You think she's starting to tolerate your presence. It might have been something to do with all the gifts you've been giving her. Yeah, that might do it. Okay, nothing new here, so... Give her a shell. And she's gonna throw it into the sun. So we're just gonna move on. You catch her looking through your things. She is completely non-apologetic about it. Because she's a queen! Bow down to her queenly queenliness! In fact, she continues to rummage, even though you are standing right there. Does she look like she cares? <laughs> oh dear. Telling her no doesn't stop her. Clapping loudly doesn't stop her. She doesn't even look at you. You consider a rolled up newspaper. <laughs> God. Her beautiful name slips through your lips. You expect a lashing which never comes. She nods at you in approval. You now have permission to speak her name. Oh well. So we got a different pose out of her. And no, we don't get... Well, so far I haven't gotten anything new. And yep. <laughs> she whipped you across the knuckles. Ouch. And she looks about as grumpy as you would expect. She really seems to enjoy throwing things into the sun, doesn't she? Okay, well. She looks through your shopping bags and claims anything even vaguely related to pyramids, treasure, or sand. This seems fine until you realize you can never throw a beach party again. So we can never have an Egyptian beach party and make the Sphinx smile or anything ever again. Because she's going to be like, mine! Right. And... Okay. That's a little... something. If you listen carefully, you can hear your bank card crying from overuse. Maybe you should stop going to the mall with Cassia. <laughs> the joke's on you, I don't hear anything. Okay, now we're getting some new stuff. She has taken a reverent interest in the neighborhood stray cats. You consider, or you buy extra cans of tuna and watch her take them to make offerings to her new feline friends. You wonder if she has a hard time unwinding. 
She always sits as stiff as a board. Wow, yeah. Communication has proven a bit difficult. She always makes a tut sound with her teeth. You copy it flawlessly. At least you have a tut in common. Did Sino write this joke? <laughs> Let me see, like, tut. Yeah, I actually, like, gritted my teeth and I went, tut. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Because my teeth don't make any sound unless it's a chattering sound. Oh. You ask her if she wants a sandwich, and she's like, oh. She seems intrigued until she realizes there isn't any, or er, there isn't actually any sand involved. Yeah, how would, how, yeah, how would you make a sand sandwich? Probably wouldn't taste very good, would it? She hands you several large beetles. She looks proud. You try to keep a neutral face and hope that the beetles do not try to do something. I don't know. She gives you many things to hold and keep track of. Sometimes it's sand. Sometimes it's jewels. You do your best. It amuses her. Okay, now she's enjoying it. <laughs> okay, let me see. Before I do anything, let's just give her one random shell. Alright, so she's not gonna just chuck it into the sun. She takes the gift and studies it. It's well crafted. It's a shell. She nods at you as she turns away. Her her tail is wagging. Aw, she's happy. Alright, moonlight stroll time. And, well, yeah, if you saw this, or, well, you're gonna see this in the spooky event, but, of course, the moon has the bats in it and everything, but this time, not so much. Just regular moon. She looks you up and down. She does not look impressed by you. Hold that thought. She does not look impressed by you. Well, I guess you... This isn't necessarily impressed, but I mean... <laughs> this reminds me of that Minan looks unhappy, and... Er... No, Plusle... I think it was... It was either Plusle or Minan, but... One of them looks unhappy, and they're clearly smiling. Huh? You think she's getting more demanding. Your bank statement confirms it for you, like the tattletale that it is. <laughs> well, she doesn't care. At least she seems to be issuing her demands with a smile now. That's a good sign, right? I'd like to hope so. Crap. Yay, more time! And yeah, I, I have 176 extra time blocks that I don't know what to do with anymore. Cassia is, or Cassia is your awkward bestie. Sand puns galore! After much debate, she has decided she won't feed your heart to any underworld beasts. You thank her? I had no idea she was even considering that. Uh... Oh wait, well, let's talk to her first. <laughs> Does she want to go for a walk? She hands you... Her wrap and is swinging her hips excitedly. Is it like the Anka dance or like the Helltaker dance? <laughs> She's excited to start her own pyramid scheme. She probably doesn't understand that a what a pyramid scheme is. At least you hope she doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's hypnotic watching her do her makeup. In a blink, her eyeliner is perfect and beautiful. When you only have one eye, you don't have to worry about symmetry. Yeah, I guess I can see that. 
trash. When she pretends not to like you, you tell her denial isn't just a river in Egypt. She rolls her eye, but you make, but you're sure you see her smirk. Mm. The amount of groaning and moaning she does every time she wakes up leads you to believe she's not a morning person. Now, yeah, well, neither am I, really. You sit down. Within minutes, she is sitting beside you with her feet on your lap. Better cancel the rest of your plans. She doesn't look like she's going to move anytime soon. Her leg wraps are untied. You try to warn her, but it's too late. She stands on them and falls. Nothing to do now but intensely pretend you didn't notice. I didn't see anything, I swear! <laughs> the sound she makes is definitely a giggle. You keep, you keep going until she holds your hand with her teeth. Playtime! Alright, I guess let's take her to the beach. Where... She's kind of like... Laying down mummification style there. She seems disappointed she didn't manage to get a tan, even though she lay as still as the dead for most of the date. Well, you can't win them all. But yeah, it's like good luck with that. She, er, ah. It was a nice gift. She raises it above her head so it catches the light. Is that why Link does that in every single, well, almost every single Zelda game? There's a nod of acceptance, and she adds it to her collection. Like in Link's Awakening when she gets to have that sort of... Like when she's on the beach with Marin, and then she goes with you, and then he holds her up in the air, and it's like, YES! WE GOT HER! Well, anyway. Crow. You have to er you you have been keeping track and this is her hundredth demand. You decide to do something special to prove to her you are paying attention and doting on her appropriately. <laughs> you get some rose petals and lay them out in a path to your pile of offerings. When she sees the effort you went through, she yips in joy. She knocks everything out of your hands all the time. If she is in the room, you are to pay attention to her, and no one else. Okay, we're at the crush level. Let's see, does she... S I keep wanting to say, does she say anything? You'll have to forgive me. You're surprised to learn she manages crypto. How advanced. Right after I got the thing about her wanting to start a pyramid scheme. Not a good sign. Okay, doesn't seem like she says anything. Or, see, I did it again. It's, well, I mean, it's such a... Um, it's a force of habit because I'm so used to being like, what else does she say? What else does she say? But, yeah. When you have... when Well, how many Monster Girls are there now? Like, only five? So, five out of 40-something? Yeah, you're gonna... It's not really something you... It's It breaks from the norm, let's put it that way. But, anyway... Oh boy, is she being like, I'm gonna put the pyramid here. Yes, she is. Possibly. Using her hands to measure the mountains, she has made her arms tired. She is impressed, but next time, take her to somewhere fancier. She wants to swing from a chandelier here. Oh my... You know, I... It This is kind of like Sia's hairstyle. Although, obviously, she's... She isn't completely hiding both her, well, well, her eye, 
technically half her face behind her hair, but... Well, I guess there you go, confirmed. Her hairstyle is basically kind of similar to Sia's. Anyhow. Growl. You think she looks pleased. She wraps it gingerly... She wraps it gingerly up and puts it in a box for safekeeping. How are you going to keep a bunch of cars in a box for safekeeping? Well, I guess it's best not to think about it. Did she just mummify your present? Apparently... <laughs> she has started to hang out in any room you're in. Not interacting with you, but just being present. You ask her, isn't that supposed to be a cat thing? Even though she kind of has like this jackal thing going for her. <laughs> her ears stiffen and she looks like she's having a bit of an identity crisis. Are you a cat or a dog? <laughs> okay, well, I guess now we're getting somewhere. As long as you are giving her constant head pats, you are graciously permitted to do whatever else you want. Trivial things like eating and drinking. Oh my... <laughs> so basically, yeah, not even the basic es essential actions of living you're allowed to do. That's just trivial to her. Alright, let's see. And why does it have to be 47? I'm telling you... If this is, like, kind of a reference to my videos on this channel... <laughs> I tell you. No. Heading outside, she takes a moment to pray to the sun. You wouldn't dare interrupt her. Jinkies! Four people and their dog have an uncomfortable fascination with Cassia. You decide to get some blinds put in. Okay, gang, let's split up and look for clues. Growl. Her hands always seem to find their way to your body. She likes the way you feel. Growl. She makes friends with almost every animal she finds in case they are transformed gods. Going to the zoo is complicated. It's probably going to take a while, too. <laughs> she lets you know she's considering letting you explore her cave of wonders. You vow to touch everything. Okay, I know it's a reference to Aladdin, but... There's another way you can take this, let's be real. <laughs> And then of course when he does when he says this, it's like <laughs> You're you're making it worse. You're making it much worse. Cow. Cow. By the way she looks at you, you are convinced she would no longer send you to the Shadow Realm in a heartbeat. That's good. Because yeah, American, who knows how many people in that show are obsessed with sending people to the Shadow Realm. As a mummy with refined taste, she crushes up pearls to make her drinks. It makes them fizzy. She learned this trick from her friend Cleo. <laughs> okay, is... It would be really weird if that... Well, maybe not weird, but how coincidental that... If this is, like, a Scooby-Doo reference... Her next demand is an ostrich. If she puts it in the ostrich races, she can gain prestige for your name. She doesn't take you seriously when you tell her those aren't a thing. Well... Daydreamer, heads in the sand. Daydreamer, gee, but it's grand. <laughs> Okay, well, that's still the same. 
and I get it again. <laughs> Is it because I sang the song? Well, that might be... Yeah, I'm getting some repeats now, so... Oh, wait. Let's see. A jackal's grin spreads on her face. R racing to the backyard, she starts to dig in the dirt. Buried things are safe things. Okay, now let's go to the movies. Which, yeah, we're not getting the shinning anymore. Well, the shinning is basically exclusive to the spooky event. So, I guess what can you do there? It was nice to see a classic on the big screen, but Cassia seemed a little jealous of the main character. Later, she gives you a shopping list with flying carpet, genie, and 96 white Persian monkeys written on it. Okay. <laughs> Anyone who comes near her or reaches out for her gets growled and snapped at. When you do it, she leans into your touch. <laughs> you shouldn't condone this behavior, but you really like being shown that you're so special to her. Let's see, wow, Cassie has a crush on you, you're her sweethearts. Cassie is your girlfriend. Treat her like a queen! Bow down to her queenly queenliness! And well, like a queen, she wants dried enchanted scarves and some bewitched jam. With tenderness, she traces the symbol for life on your skin. It leaves little smudges of ash and oil from her fingers. Man, what I wouldn't give to have this kind of overpoweredness in the spooky event, or well, any of these parallels. But then, yeah, that would make it... I suppose it would make it way too easy, and you'd probably finish in, like... Well, for sure, you'd finish it within a day. But, I mean, like... I've been recording for about 34, 35 minutes, and I'm almost done with her here, so... I'd probably be done with her even faster if I weren't talking over all this and cycling through all the dialogue. And again, we're getting this! No! Cool. She sits you down and begins to dazzle you with spoken poetry. Okay, I was about to say, how is that gonna sound? And there we go. The words all sound like grumbles and yips, but you clap and shed a tear at the end anyway. That Cassia has a way with words. <laughs> Stop telling me that! <laughs> okay, looks like we're getting mostly repeats, so... Well... Yeah, I guess we are gonna be done with her pretty quickly here. Alright, j- ah, but, but, pff, My tongue stopped working. Dratted Enchanted Scarves. <laughs> Alright, that's still the same. And, okay, Bewitch Jam. <laughs> you tell her that you would cross a thousand deserts, over ten thousand days just to be with her. And that's not all. I would walk five hundred miles, and then I would walk five hundred more. <laughs> yeah, she liked that. Okay, well. <laughs> she wraps her arms around you and presses her nose to yours. She hopes that she can always be your oasis from the difficult travels of life. <laughs> Yay, more time blocks that I don't know what to do with. Cassia is in love with you. She'd give you her heart if she still had one, I guess. It looked like if she still has. Hase? And, yeah, she's just kind of doing that. You hear shuffling behind you as hands cover your eyes. Guess who? You're probably supposed to guess who it is. Yes, that's why I said, guess who? When they press against you, you instantly, you know instantly, Cassia. <laughs> she moves into your touch and then bites you. Her eyes plead with you to do it again. Why, so you can do that again? 
<laughs> Finding grapes in the fridge, she hands them to you. Goes to recline on the couch and opens her mouth. Another clear order. Hand feed her. <laughs> you always feel happier and safer when she's around. Maybe it's her personality and the way she looks at you. Or maybe it's just the pheromones. I I. I mean, that's a good pun, at least. Yeah, at least it wasn't like, did Sino write this for you? Kura? Oh boy. When she dances, swinging her hips and crossing her arms, it's hard to look at anything but her. Mesmerizing. <laughs> Crow. You make extra when you cook food so she can steal it off your plate. Stolen food is the best food. Yeah, but I gotta eat too. Cool. You buy her a money tree! Do those exist in this universe? I guess screw whoever said money doesn't grow on trees. In this case. She takes a leaf off, examining it. She throws it away. Apparently it doesn't look like money to her. We've got to have money. Cow. You blow a raspberry on her hollow tummy. The reverberations must feel good because she moans happily. Hello. Cora? An advertisement for a jewel painting comes on. Cassie wants to try it. Until she learns the jewels are plastic. <laughs> you bring her a bouquet of lilies. They're beautiful and fragrant. She melts into them, smelling the scent. You tell her her beauty outshines them and she licks you all over as thanks. Cool. When it's the two of you, she likes to sit at your feet and have you rub her ears. Her eyes say, Tell no one. Or tell no one. Yeah, my my Cassie voice has never has never really been all that good, so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. Aww. Today she tries to get you to wear her jewelry. First the armbands, then the bracelet, then the collar. Without her jewel, she looks so bare. You seem to understand that it's giving you ideas and blushes all the way to the tips of her ears. Uh, yeah, I can only imagine. Kura? Okay, are we getting more repeats? Mm -hmm. Well, we kind of are, but still some more stuff. She carves a likeness of you, or of like a likeness of you, so you can embody it when you die. It's a bit more exaggerated than you are. Does she really think you look like that? Did she draw you as Big Fat Meanie? Or did she sculpt you as Big Fat Meanie? Then maybe I can understand. <laughs> as if I really look like this! <laughs> she strongly implies what kind of activities would require you to hold onto her twin tails. Fun and functional. And I guess I'll just leave that to the imagination. <laughs> you can tell she enjoys the way she has you wrapped around her finger. <laughs> Stop giving me that! Her hands always seem to find their way to your body. She likes the way you feel. Okay, I think that's it. You know, I forgot, does... Does she say anything about the Monster Girls? Burp. I strike that, I mean... She probably might now, but... I still have no idea what I'm going to do... For... Getting that... That bit of dialogue with her, because... I mean, now that I would essentially have to go back... It... It would make more sense to try to do it, and... Well, it'd probably take more than one video, now that I look at it, given that... Like I said, we have over 40 girls in this game now, and... I haven't...
counted them in a while. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyhow, I guess the last thing I will do is go to some of the new unlockable rewards. If you've already done it, to my understanding, you don't have to worry about reaching it all the way to the end. You'll get the rewards automatically. I don't know if that counts if this is the first time you're doing it. But if it is the first time you're doing it, you will not have the option to get these animated poses for the three of them here. Spectrum does not get an animated pose for whatever reason, so... It's just Gel, Quillzone, and Bunchovi. So I guess I'll go ahead and show those off here. Yay. Oh, I passed it. Yeah, so... This is the reward you get from the spooky event if this is your second go-around. And, well... I guess why don't I just show you really fast? The sparkly, swirly portal... And yeah, as you can see, I'm nowhere near being able to finish the three of them here. These three, so... <laughs> and I only have 14 hours left. And I did like a 12 hour time skip and it still didn't make much of a dent here, so... But anyway... Yeah, so these are the rewards you get here. And since I already have Cassia, I can't even like... It won't let me see the ending, but I mean, there's almost no point since you already have her. So, yeah, I guess if for whatever reason you were hoping to see the ending again, you cannot because this is like X'd out and you can't even click the claim now. But yeah, so you get these three new animated poses and that's it. So let's jump back in, and then I will go ahead and just show them off to you for a bit. And I guess that'll be it for this video. She trills happily and places the gift inside herself, next to her heart. So yeah, you can tell that she's blinking and... Yeah, she's just kind of moving around now. I guess as opposed to her usual static pose there. Let's go back down and... She gives your face a lick and nuzzles your ear. A strange sensation given her helmet. So yeah, now she kind of has her hands up in like a paw pose. So, and she's definitely like wiggling around a little more. And Bonchovi. Yeah. She almost cries out in happiness and kisses you all over your face and shoulders. So, yeah, her mermaid tail's kind of swaying back and forth, her hair... She sh She moves her hair- or she whips her hair back and forth! Okay, no, I'm not gonna... That song's annoying, I'm- It even annoys me, so I'm not gonna annoy all of you with it. But, yeah, you get the idea here. So... Yeah, as far as Spectrum, she doesn't get that. <laughs> you ask her if she's if she wants to go to a walk. She gets very excited. Zoomies! I've never heard anyone say that. Oh, she has one too. Wow. She takes a scroll from her box. Oh, oh, she just snaps that. And oh boy. She takes a scroll from her box and with a few skills, skilled lines, adds a likeness of your gift to her burial inventory. 
Okay, I was here like, does she have one of those? And yes, she does. And it's already kind of baked in there. So at least it isn't like... I think it was Maribel. Or, hold on, let me see. Uh, where are my stable manners? Can I get my tall drink of water some refreshments? Sweet tea? Lemonade? Me? <laughs> Okay, it looks like we can get the Valentine's Day outfits for her. Or, yeah. So, a while back I read on Reddit that apparently you'd be getting this as part of a patch? Well, what else am I going to spend it on, aside from this? I'll be the queen of your heart any day, Tumbleweed. Long live our love. Okay, well... That was a good surprise. And, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I... Well, I guess I'd like to imagine that... I heard some people saying the same thing about Baby Bell. So, maybe it'll be the same for her, too, where we can buy the outfit for her now. But, that'll have to be for another time, especially because... I am still so damn behind. It's not even funny. I haven't even mentioned that if we go down some more... Oh, well, well what do you know? We have the thing for Amelia now. Yeah, like, I still haven't done the thing for Daria, Katara, Charlotte, Suzu, Mallory, Ron I still have to buy. And Explora, which is the newest one. Like, see how far behind I am? And that's not including the core girls at all, so... <laughs> oh my god, yeah, it's just... It's getting... <laughs> yeah, like, to the point where... Yeah, I'm, I'm so far behind, and... I don't know, like, how I'll be able to catch up soon, so... But what can you do? It is what it is. Anyway, though, you know, I guess I'm going to leave things there. Because this video's gone on long enough. So, at least I finally got to get through with Cassia and show off some of the rewards you get from the spooky event. Including Cassia. So, there you go. Next time... Well, let's see. I'm pretty sure we are going to get the Amelia event started. And, well, I guess learning what I learned from playing Blush Blush, it is okay for you not to do the phone fling right away, just as long as you do the LTE. But you won't be able to play the play with the character. Ah. But you will not be able to date the character until you finish the phone fling. So, you're good there. But anyway... So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with whatever else I do. Stay gold, and later, folks. Bailando, bailando, amigos, adiós, adiós, es silencio loco.